Hello and welcome to all. From Hitler's fabulous giant cannon, the Gustav Schwerer, to Punt's incredible gun, here are the 10 most powerful weapons in history. Let's get started. In the early 1960s, when the Cold War was at its height, humanity witnessed the greatest arms race in history. The aim was to be the first to possess the biggest bomb or the biggest missile. Thus, when the United States exploded the most powerful atomic bomb ever conceived, the Castle Bravo, in 1954, the Russians decided of course that they should not be left behind. The Soviet Union then mandated its most eminent scientists and specialists in atomic energy to design a bomb whose power could rival that of their American enemies. Russian scientists developed the mother of all bombs, the Tsar Bomba. The oversized device was 8 meters long and had a diameter of 2 meters, with a total weight of 27 tons. The test of the Tsar Bomba was carried out on 30 October 1961, over the New Zealand archipelago in the Russian Arctic. The bomb was dropped by a specially modified bomber, at an altitude of more than 13 kilometers, and exploded at about 3.7 kilometers from the ground. It released a prodigious power of 57 megatons, the equivalent of 4,000 atomic bombs of the type launched on Hiroshima in 1945. The Tsar Bomba was three times more powerful than the American Castle Bravo, which was considered a strategic victory by the Russians. The power of the explosion was such that it created a fireball more than 7 kilometers in diameter and was visible more than 1,000 kilometers from the point of impact. At the zero point, the destruction was total on a diameter of 30 kilometers, and the heat of the explosion was felt at 300 kilometers in the round. Fortunately, with the end of the Cold War, the area once completely devastated by the countless nuclear tests has become a true haven of peace, acquiring the status of protected national park. Revolvers have been around since the 16th century, but even today they are still associated with the American Wild West and the six shooters of cowboys, such as the famous criminal Billy the Kid or Marshall Wyatt Earp. But nowadays, the revolver does not represent a great interest anymore, either for criminals or for law enforcement officers, who prefer by far the automatic pistol. The latter has the double advantage of being fast, and having a magazine with a capacity of 15 bullets, against 6 for the revolver. But with the Taurus Raging Bull, you only need one bullet to kill an African buffalo. This revolver is therefore one of the largest handguns in existence and can carry very large caliber bullets in its cylinder, such as the 500 S and W Magnum. This revolver is so powerful that some amateurs use it to hunt very tough nut to crack, abandoning their traditional hunting rifles and shotguns. But to handle this steel monster, you need a real iron grip. With an empty weight of almost 2 kilos and the incredible recoil power it gives off when fired, it is safe to say that this revolver is not for all hands. When it comes to sniper rifles, the best is not the one with the most powerful shot, but rather the one who shoots the farthest. Logical, isn't it? The further away a sniper is from his target, the more he can shoot without compromising his position and being flushed out by the enemy. So every sniper's dream would be to own the sniper rifle that can shoot at the farthest distance from its target. A Russian arms manufacturer decided to make their dream come true by developing the SVLK-14S Sumeric, a sniper rifle capable of firing at a distance of 4,200 meters, the equivalent of twice the Champs-Élysées Avenue. At such a distance, it is almost impossible to spot where the shot is coming from, giving the shooter a distinct advantage. But what the sniper gains on one side, he loses on the other. Indeed, to increase the distance and accuracy of the Sumeric, its inventors have removed many parts, including the magazine, making it a single-shot weapon. Also, for a weight of almost 10 kilograms, it is certainly not a light load for the poor shooter who would have to carry it on his back. Snipers will therefore prefer a more manageable and lighter rifle, even if they have to shoot from a little closer. During the First World War, the French and Germans engaged in a veritable arms race, with a predilection for cannons and howitzers. But if the cannons were more and more powerful, the enemy fortifications were also much more robust, and could therefore resist their fire without problems. The French forts had the reputation of being impregnable, and the German artillery really struggled to destroy them. The German general staff, therefore, commissioned its engineers to create an artillery piece capable of breaching the French defenses. The Krupp factories then forged what was to be one of the most powerful howitzers ever created in the history of the war. Nicknamed the Big Bertha, in honor of the daughter of its creator, this terrible 42-ton cannon could fire a shell weighing 800 kilograms, capable of piercing 3 meters of reinforced concrete. Once it was put into service, it devastated several fortresses that were considered inviolable. 
The Big Bertha would not be used again until 20 years later, during the Second World War. And once again, it caused a lot of damage to the Allies. Infantrymen are the most emblematic military units of an army and are totally irreplaceable on a battlefield. But they are also the most seriously threatened units in battle, as they have no protection against enemy armor, which is the dread of these proud warriors. The creaking sounds of the tracks of an approaching tank are enough to create terror in the hearts of these brave soldiers, who then have no choice but to run away from the metal monster to avoid being crushed. But since the invention of the Barrett M82, a solution has been proposed to enable soldiers to fight. This American anti-materiel rifle is indeed so powerful that it can pierce the toughest armor. Armed with this terrible gun, soldiers can destroy any enemy vehicle, including tanks, or even helicopters in flight. The only drawback is that the person who uses it must use a bipod to shoot because the weapon produces a considerable recoil when it fires. But with such firepower in their hands, infantrymen have become the true masters of battlefield destruction. With a name known to all thanks to American blockbusters, it's time to look at the superstar of handguns, the Desert Eagle. This Israeli-American-made semi-automatic pistol is about 37.5 centimeters long and weighs almost 2.5 kilos, with an empty magazine. It is also capable of firing very large caliber ammunition, such as the .50 Action Express, ideal for hunting elephants. With its enormous size and shooting power, the Desert Eagle is thus considered the king of all semi-automatic pistols. As you can imagine, not every hand can handle it, and you really need a hardened grip to use it. However, if you want to shoot through a concrete wall and hit your enemies from the other side, like Vinnie Jones in the movie Snatch, this is the weapon for you. Another big gun, but this time it's really heavy. Admire this beast, which bears the evocative name of Schwerer Gustav, which can literally be translated as Gustav the Heavy. This impressive piece of artillery is the gun ordered by Adolf Hitler at the beginning of the Second World War, to break through the French defenses, and in particular, the famous Maginot Line. Like its predecessor, the Big Bertha, this gun was forged and assembled in the Krupp factories and was named in honor of the firm's director. With a total weight of 1,350 tons and a length of 47.3 meters, this giant cannon could fire shells weighing more than 7 tons over a distance of 38 kilometers. Thanks to its extraordinary dimensions, its psychological effect was as devastating as its powerful shots, capable of piercing up to 10 meters of concrete. But what the Schwerer Gustav gained in firepower, it lost in maneuverability. Indeed, a railway carriage mounted on two parallel tracks was needed to move this terrible steel monster. FPS players and other shooter video games will tell you, there is nothing more effective than the good old minigun to decimate waves of zombies or any other tough and numerous enemies. The military also knows how much this weapon can change the course of a battle thanks to its incredible firepower and rate of fire. During the Vietnam War, U.S. soldiers were often battered by relentless Viet Cong charges, which often resulted in real disasters in their ranks. The combat and reconnaissance helicopters were then equipped with miniguns, which helped repel the attacks. Among the miniguns, the real star is, without doubt, the famous American M134, which can be described simply as the most powerful machine gun of all time. This weapon has a hellish rate of fire, allowing it to fire from 2,000 to 6,000 rounds per minute. A single burst of its terrible fire can release enough power to tear apart a tree, or a charge of enemy soldiers. Unfortunately for the Americans, this firepower was not enough to win the Vietnam War, which would become known in the following years as the greatest military setback encountered as a place called freedom. Hunting ducks has never been easier than with a duck gun, which could also be called a punt gun. Think about it indeed. Why bother shooting one duck when you can shoot several with one shot? This is the most accurate illustration of the stone that strikes two, right? The put gun is a very large hunting rifle, derived from the arquebus, whose enormous dimensions could easily reach three meters long. This weapon does not fire bullets, but iron and lead shot, which is dispersed at the time of the shooting to reach the maximum of gain. With a put gun, some hunters could easily shoot more than 50 ducks in one shot. But these miraculous hunting parties had a major impact on the wild duck population, which declined drastically in the late 19th and early 20th centuries. This rapid disappearance of the ducks finally pushed the countries which sheltered this kind of hunting to ban it purely and simply. The hunters, therefore, returned to more conventional rifles, and their unusual put guns have since then taken their place in museums, much to the relief of our green-collared friends. Since the invention of gunpowder and firearms, 
the arms industry has been constantly innovating to manufacture ever more lethal and effective weapons. Precision rifles have thus been able to benefit from the latest technological advances, making them formidable weapons at very great distances, which constitutes a considerable strategic advantage for an army. But if distant shots allow engaging enemies while staying out of their range, it also implies a loss of power and velocity of the fired projectile. This is the principle of Newtonian physics because the bullet will be influenced by gravity and the mass of air it passes through, which causes it to inexorably lose its kinetic energy. To counter the effects of this loss of energy, the American military-industrial complex imagined a rifle capable of developing such power that it would retain all its destructive potential despite the loss of speed and kinetic energy. This is the Anzio 20mm, an anti-material rifle capable of developing an incredible 65,000 joules of power, which allows it to fire bullets that exceed the speed of sound. The Anzio can shoot projectiles at more than 4,500 meters, at a muzzle velocity of 1,006 meters per second. The bullet fired then releases considerable force on impact, allowing the shooter to neutralize both soldiers and enemy vehicles while remaining quietly camouflaged in the landscape, more than 4 kilometers from his targets. Impressive isn't it? And that's it for today. Which of these 10 super-powered weapons surprised you the most? Tell us in the comments, and if you like this video, don't forget to give us a like, subscribe to the channel, and activate the bell to receive all notifications. See you soon for new and unusual discoveries.